Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to do keywords research with Google Trends. Have you ever wondered what people around the world are searching for on Google? I'm going to share to you my favorite tool, which is Google Trends. What is Google Trends? Google Trends is a free tool released by Google that allows you to check on certain keywords and see are they trending? Is the search volume now more than it was in the past? Is it increasing at a proper rate? Is it decreasing at an unfavorable rate? And you can check all these pretty easy with Google Trends. We'll show you how to harness the potential of this free tool to supercharge your SEO strategy and content creation. Let's dive right in. Google Trends is a goldmine for understanding what topics are trending, helping you make data-driven decisions for your content strategy. Why use Google Trends? But why should you use Google Trends? Well, here are a few compelling reasons. Stay relevant. It helps you stay on top of current trends and interests in your niche. Content ideas. Discover what topics people are searching for and create content that resonates with your audience. Seasonal insights. Understand the seasonality of certain keywords to plan your content calendar effectively. Getting started with Google Trends. Let's jump into the practical steps of using Google Trends for keyword research. Go to trends.google.com. Here you will see Home, Explore, Trending Now. So click on the top right over here and you can choose any location you want. It depends on what kind of audience you're targeting. Let's say you want to write a blog for the Philippines. You want your viewers from the Philippines. Just click Philippines. Type in a keyword or phrase related to your niche. You can enter a keyword to see how it's trending and click explore or click what's trending now below the search bar. I'm going to click explore. Google Trends will show you the search interests over time. Use filters to narrow down results by region, time range. You can even customize the time range, category, and search type. Analyzing Trends Data now let's understand how to analyze the data you get from Google Trends. Interest over time. Check the interest over time graph to see if the keyword's popularity increasing, decreasing, or remaining stable. Numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region in time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity. And a value 50 means the term is half as popular. And a score of 0 means, of course, there was not enough data. Regional interest. If you target specific regions, check the regional interest map to identify where your keywords are most popular. 100 is the location with the most popularity. It's as a fraction of total searches in that location. 50 indicates a location which is half as popular. A value of 0 indicates a location where there was not enough data for this term. Related queries. Scroll down to find related queries. This can inspire new content ideas or help you refine your keyword selection. You can take a look at the related topics that are rising or the top topics. So you can see Joe Jonas is a top topic. But if you take a look at the rising topics, which are currently gaining popularity, these are the topics. Number one is Labor Day holiday. So instead of writing an article about Joe Jonas, I would go into the related topic section, which are targeting the right audience at the right time because that is very key and that is very important. Just remember that if the graph is going up, you can use that keyword. If the graph is going down, you can't use that keyword. It's that simple and that easy. You can then write any kind of article or blog about that specific topic you chose. You can also compare two terms. So let's say I was going to create a YouTube video about Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez. So I'm just going to search for Taylor Swift versus Selena Gomez. And I'm going to compare this to Taylor Swift. So you can see in the interest over time, Taylor Swift has the highest point on the chart compared to Selena Gomez. I'm going to go for the past seven days. All categories for the search type, I want YouTube search. And for the region, let's say worldwide. So you can still see over here, Taylor Swift is the most definitely a popular term. So if I will write an article or make a YouTube video, I would put Taylor Swift as a YouTube video title. There you have it. A quick guide to mastering keyword research with Google Trends. By using this powerful tool, you can stay ahead of the curve, generate fresh content ideas, and ultimately drive more organic traffic to your website. Remember, knowledge is power, and with Google Trends, 
you have the power to stay relevant and informed in your niche. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Leads to List by Technic Force. Grab unlimited leads right off Facebook, Google, and YouTube. Add into your autoresponder. Facebook and Google leads your autoresponder. No website, no opt-in, no fake emails, and unlimited scaling. This is list building ultimate. Connect with any Facebook page or Google account in a matter of seconds. Run Facebook and Google lead gen ads and send leads directly into your autoresponder. Send welcome emails containing access or other details to anyone who signs up. 100% accurate Facebook and Google emails. You can virtually guarantee this is the user's main account. Leads to lists will help you no matter what kind of business you run. Product vendors, affiliate marketers, e-com sellers, local businesses, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Leads to List now. Just go to getleadstolist.in. I hope you find this video helpful. And thanks for watching.